Hello, welcome to our booth. I'm Johan de Mullenare and this is my partner Trinidad Castro. Together we are Atelier de Campagne. I met Johan 25 years ago and for the last 20 years we have been bringing containers filled with French and other European antiques and vintage. We organize container and loading sales here in our property and we also participate in monthly antique fairs and other events throughout the U.S. Chateau Sonoma French Flea Market is absolutely our most favorite uh, event in California. Given that we were not able to participate in the event as usual, we are glad that we are at least able to participate in this manner. Of course, nothing beats the joy of being able to be with our fellow vendors and the thrill of selecting every item and setting up our booth the adrenaline of the opening day when the customers come in, but that will probably take a while. So for now, we are glad that we're able to do it in this way. So come with us and we'll show what we have for you. I will share some of the items here and Trinidad will uh, talk about uh, more by the others. Over here, we have some champagne crates from the rains from the champagne industry some galvanized pitchers that would look great in your farmhouse style interior. Over here, a beautiful uh, jardiniere in cast iron, great with boxwood or some plants. I'm sitting here on this large wooden bench that has two compartments to store uh, blankets in on your porch. Moving over here, a pair of regal looking uh, lions that will make a great statement at the entrance of your home. Up here, a fabulous pair of um, uh, cast iron urns with some topiaries, but also looking good with a flower arrangement. Up here, a stately pediment in wood with a face in uh, plaster of Paris with ornaments. And coming inside, we have some stout stoneware grass pots sitting on a typical um, wine tasting table that folds um, and moving to this piece uh, here a statue of a, a blacksmith a signed piece by an artist Pico in Paris here we have a pair of traditional undo spots in terracotta hand thrown we go by ourselves twice a year to undo and select uh, several uh, of these uh, pottery. They are uh, traditionally made uh, in Andrews, like I said. Here a very fine and unusual uh, shell, concrete shell, that could work as a sink, but also by itself, it is a very nice piece. Sitting on a traditional uh, brasserie table, from the south of France with a zinc top. Moving a little backwards, this massive uh, trumeau, wooden trumeau, painted with a beautiful patina. Standing next to it, some uh, impressive uh, large arch shutters. We also have several pair of them. And then showing over here a unusual shape in ceramic an Italian vase that we use for uh, flowers. Let me move those books a little bit. And here we have beautiful bridal mirrors, uh, wooden carved, and especially that little one here is a real bijou. Uh, talking about uh, bijoux, this uh, uh, 19th century globe uh, de marie is uh, given by the family to the newlywed and the uh, bride afterwards put her the crown of the veil and other mementos uh, in here. All this sitting on this uh, uh, fabulous rustic 19th century uh, pine uh, cabinet. Then moving against the wall here we have some portly uh, French doors from a Maison de Maître uh, with beautiful molding. Hanging in front of it is this uh, uh, flower reed, beaded flower reed, which is really a piece of art, seeing all the detail of the flowers uh, handmade. 
and then above our table here we have this uh, uh, chandelier that would uh, this pretty chandelier that will light up your uh, living room and from here on Trinidad will take uh, the rest of the tour so Johan showed you a trumo earlier that was a little bit more rustic and now look at this elegant trumo a wooden frame and also plaster of Paris ornament ideal for a bedroom or perhaps over a stately fireplace now we're gonna move outside and we'll show you a few other items the first thing I like to show you is this beautiful handcrafted toy horse in wood and burlap think of the hours of joy uh, of the children that got to play with this horsey then we have a set of Gordian confit pots these beautiful glazed pots would just serve great to put wooden spoons in it or perhaps a plant or some flowers they are sitting atop a, um, some wooden boards that served as table risers to knead dough, also to cut up food. And also in ceramic, we have this heavy uh, kneading bowl that is glazed in a buttermilk color. Above me, a petite coquettish chandelier with pink and clear beads and leaning on the table you see this hand forged beautiful heavy cast iron um, fence or gate on each of my sides a pair of Languedoc style planters that we also bought in Andus we put two uh, olive bushes in them, but they will be also ideal for topiaries or perhaps dwarf lemon trees. Now we're gonna move here, perched on the pillar, we have a zinc oil debuff. Normally, this would be the frame for a window on the attic of an old French home. At the front, you will see this traditional bistro table with a heavy cast iron base and it's covered in zinc along with these two Parisian cafe chairs that are woven and made with cane. We have four of those here and I'll show you this other bistro table. Sitting on top of the bistro table is a cast iron urn that can easily serve as a planter or perhaps also to create a floral arrangement. Now we're going to go against the building. Here's this beautiful Louis the 16 mirror with a very fancy crown. In front of it, we have this amazing, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is a Willy Gold pot that does not really need a function. It just works as a piece of art, in my opinion. It's sitting on this larger bistro table or patio table that comes with three chairs, beautiful blue and green hues on it. And the last two items I want to show you are these uh, shutters in such a beautiful yellow that make me think of the south of France. These just amazing like sunflowers along with this andu spot in heavy terracotta that matches so well with the shutters. So we hope that you have been able to enjoy our little tour. This is only a portion of what we have here in our home. And we hope that one day you're able to come and visit us and see all that we have for you. Enjoy your shopping weekend. Thank you very much.